But but this was really key. We were talking about this yesterday. We didn't have the audio. But here is a clip of Ron Johnson. And the the healthcare bill really started to unravel, it seems to me. After it was reported in the Washington Post the other day that moderates, I hate to use that word because they're not really moderates. Let's call them conservatives but, versus reactionaries, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that the, um, the milk toast conservatives, the hiding conservatives, the, the pretenders, uh, were told by Mitch McConnell, Look, don't worry about the Medicaid cuts because they can come back. A future Congress, essentially, can reinstate the Medicare cuts, Medicaid cuts. And Ron Johnson, who had been sort of fishing around for a reason, I think, to vote against this, but couldn't quite find one, right? He's trying to make it about process for a long time, and that didn't really catch on. All these people are looking for fig leaves, and this became his fig leaf. The best situation to be in, if you're a Republican, is to vote against this bill because it's not conservative enough, right? Ideological purity is your big fig leaf. Rand Paul is using it as a way of not destroying uh, the exchanges in uh, Kentucky called Kentucky Connect. Mike Lee is using it. Ted Cruz tried to use it. Ron Johnson, here is, here is his opening. As Senator Ron Johnson met with members of the Greater Green Bay Chamber, he explained why his stance on the revised health care bill changed. I am concerned about Leader McConnell's comments to apparently some of my Republican colleagues. Uh, don't, don't worry about some of the Medicaid reforms. Those are scheduled so far in the future they'll never take effect. Uh, that that's I, I got to confirm those comments, but I think that really puts this motion proceed in jeopardy. Yeah, and he ended up confirming those comments. He made it a whole narrative, right? I've got to go confirm those comments. I've confirmed those comments. It's a progression, right? It's a it's the um, uh, what's that road that uh, Paul took? Um, uh, I can't remember. Damascus. Yes, it's his road to Damascus. That's how I'm going to come to to vote against this. I heard something in um, I heard something in uh, in the paper, and then I went and um, I confirmed it, and I was hurt. And he goes on to say uh, about McConnell, like I feel like I can't trust this guy. That's a pretty strong, those are pretty strong words to talk about, to say you're about your leader publicly. This isn't the House. This is the Senate. It's not like you can't be seen in the cloakroom. You can't hide. So this is, uh, Mitch McConnell has got some real problems. And basically, like we said earlier, his uh, announcing that you're all going to take that vote again if you're so great. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it really does sound like that. Oh, if you think you're so great, why don't you try and vote for that thing that you voted for last time? Good luck, guys. I call your bluff. It was supposed to be the reigning achievement of my legacy to destroy health care. In a certain way, it's even more satisfying because things had incrementally improved, and then we'd make it even worse than it was to begin with. That was going to be my crowning achievement, and you fucked it up. So I'm calling you out right now to vote for what you voted for before. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.